Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. I'm so excited to be filming this video. So as you guys know by the title, I'm filming a breastfeeding video. I was like sitting down one day and I was like, what can I do to like make my channel more Leslie, because this is, you know, this is the Les the Leslie Vash channel, so I was like, what can I do? What could I do differently? And so then I started thinking about, like, just, like, life stories, just what I've experienced more as a teen mom. I think I strayed more away from it um, recently because it's not something that I, um, that I like to talk about, you know, struggling as a teen mom and struggling in general as a person. I kind of want, my life is coming together slowly. I'm in a better place than I was maybe like last year or like seven years ago. But I don't want to forget where I came from. I don't want to forget about like the struggles, but then also I don't want to forget like about being a mother, being such a young mother and how that was difficult for me and it's something that I want to talk about more on my channel. I just want to be more honest with you guys. I want to be more open, transparent with you guys and I feel like sometimes I can make it seem like I have my stuff together. Um, whenever, honestly, it took me a while to get where I'm at even to this point right now. So I was just like, I want to be honest, I want to open up and I want to do these type of videos for you guys as well as the vlogs and the makeup shows. I just like this, you get more of like who I am instead of like always me just talking in a vlog, showing you what the kids are doing, showing you what I'm doing. It's just kind of like, this is where I came from, this is what I've been through and I'm here to talk about it so you guys can get more of an idea of all that stuff. Oh, I'm going to talk about breastfeeding in this video. Okay guys, so before I get started on actually talking about this topic, I just want to say that this is in no way, shape, or form trying to shame the mothers who have chosen to bottle feed, formula feed, whatever kind of feed your baby. Um, I don't want it to come off like that and if I do, I apologize, but I'm just kind of talking about breastfeeding what I've chosen for my kids. Um, so I just want to say that I am proud of any mother who is just feeding their baby in general and no way shape or form and trying to shame anybody I'm just kind of talking about the troubles that I've gone through with breastfeeding so I just want to clear that up thanks guys I didn't really prepare for it it's just something that I felt like I needed to talk about because being so young I was 14 years old I was just like how did I come up with the choice that I was gonna breastfeed um, and there's things that I wish I had known um, before I started breastfeeding and there's things that I want to share with other you know women out there whether they are teen moms not teen moms you know moms who are having baby like a baby later on in their life whatever I just moms in general I just want to share stuff with you that I wish I would have known um, so first of all let me share with you guys my story about how I started to breastfeed and then also like how old I was how long I breastfed and things like that so I had Anthony whenever I was 14 he's currently eight years old now um, oh no he's not he's seven Ooh. I was like eight. Uh, he's seven years old. Um, he just turned seven. I don't know why I said eight, but he just turned seven years old. And I chose to bre I chose to breastfeed him just because I just didn't have the money for formula, and I didn't know about the wig pro program for a while. Then my mom was like, "Hey, you should like enroll in this." So once I started getting into the WIC program then I you know was able to get formula for him. But I just chose to breastfeed him because I felt like it was the most natural thing to do. I didn't know how difficult it was going to be. I thought it was going to be super easy like I have a baby like put them on the boob and they start you know nursing. So I chose to breastfeed him throughout school. I had him like in the summer because he was born in July and I was currently going into high school and so I was just like you know what I'm gonna just I'm gonna try to breastfeed him throughout school. I remember when I was pregnant I was I was in junior high, eighth grade junior high and all these little friends of mine, they would always ask me, are you going to breastfeed? And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to breastfeed. Like, that's just something that I have chosen. Like, I knew that once I got pregnant, like, I was going to breastfeed my child. And so I remember for them, it was like, ew, she's so, like, I know for them, it was just, like, gross to think about. It's like, ew, she's going to breastfeed. You know, baby's going to suck on her boo. Like, it's just so gross. And I think I got to a point where I'm like, I'm going to stop telling people that I'm going to breastfeed because just people in eighth grade, imagine you in eighth grade. I don't blame them. If I was in eighth grade, like, somebody told me they were gonna boop, you know boob feed their baby it's just gonna be like ill but I feel like <laughs> they were definitely immature Every time somebody would act weird around it like isn't it weird that you're like baby's gonna suck on your boob I'd be like no it's not weird it's normal like you're and you know 
Women who have babies choose to breastfeed all the time. I'm still a woman and I'm still having a baby. It's not. Let's forget about my age. Like I need to grow up at this point and you know do the best what do what's best for my baby. I had some very supportive friends though, so um, let's not forget about those friends who were like very supportive. They encouraged me all the way to breastfeed, even though they were only 14 years old. Family too. My family. I had people telling me, you know, your boobs are gonna grow. They're gonna of course because they always once you have a baby they start growing but like your boobs are gonna get stretch marks they're gonna look ugly they're not gonna look cute anymore you know I had family members telling me this friends telling me this just people who wanted to open their mouth in a restaurant seeing a 14 year old pregnant they would tell me this um, and I'm just like I really don't care at this point no one heard my boobs grow like you know humongous and then they like get small again I don't care what comes with the um, consequences of breastfeeding as long as my child gets breastfed but yeah a lot of people try to scare me into like that um, if you're gonna breastfeed I know you're probably gonna hear that it's like you know those are some things that you're gonna hear I fed him for about a year and a half um, I went through my whole first year of high school breastfeeding him plus like a month in a um, month or two for summer and then a little bit after that so he was very easy to like wean off I did bottle feed him as well I formula fed him like I said I was on the WIC program um, and so I was able to get him formula and so I bottle fed him whenever he went to a babysitter whenever he stayed with my mom for a little bit whenever he was with his dad um, or you know his grandparents I bottle fed him for a while my kids is grandparents they were like he's not getting enough food your breast milk isn't enough for him I remember that's whenever I started becoming really self-conscious about like am I feeding my child enough but now I know that of course you're feeding a child enough and I remember they like pressured me into like starting to like feed him early and you know like put little oatmeal in his food and stuff and I just I feel like looking back on it now I feel like I should have not felt pressured to do that and I should have really stopped listening to like the white noise around me yes they were family yes they were they loved him and cared for him but like at the end of the day I know what my child needs no matter if I was 14 years old or not I felt like my best judgment was like he loved his breast milk and I think that's what eventually caused me to like stop breastfeeding him as much. I remember I would feed him, I'd get up in the mornings, feed him, and then I would send him off to um, his babysitter. So we got home, I would breastfeed him again, and then I would kind of switch on and off with bottle feeding and breastfeeding throughout, you know, the dinner time for him. But I remember for a little bit, right after I got back into school, um, my boobs were like engorged in milk. They were like huge. I remember it was so hard for me because it literally, I could not concentrate in school. But that only lasted, I believe for like two weeks the most for me. And I would just have to wear like pads. I remember it was so embarrassing because my milk leaked through sometimes and I remember I was just so embarrassed over it. And if I could tell myself, again, if I could go back and be like, Leslie, don't be embarrassed over that. Like it's normal. I know it's not normal because you're in a, sitting in a classroom full of like high school kids but like I feel like I just wouldn't beat myself up as much if I knew what I knew now it's like now if I have another kid and I leak through I'd be like well suck it up y'all y'all know I'm breastfeeding now you know it's like something that I would just wouldn't beat myself up over but like I remember I was so embarrassed like constantly change my padding but it was only for a few weeks that I did that and then once my body once, um, got used to like just what they needed to produce, I felt like it was a lot, a lot better. And we had kind of a routine going. And then, like I said, eventually I just felt really kind of like people kind of, people around me just made me feel like he wasn't getting enough. And I mean, I was at the age of six months, I believe is whenever I introduced food to him. So I would like give him food and still, still like feed him. It was just like. I don't know, the people around me, I just really let that kind of like white noise get to me and just be like, those people who, you know, were around me, they were just like, he wasn't, he's not eating enough, like he needs more, you need to, you need to make this baby as chunky as you can, and uh, it was just like, I eventually he ate and drank other things, you know, and eventually kind of just weaned him off the boob, so it was pretty easy with me because he didn't, he wasn't always on the boob, so he wasn't like, I should say he wasn't always nursing not always on the boob he wasn't always nursing as you guys can tell I'm not I'm not good at talking about this stuff but he wasn't always nursing so um, it was really easy for me to wean him off because my um, what do you call it my milk supply wasn't as like it wasn't as demanding as Aaliyah so it wasn't like I was constantly feeding like every three hours like here and there you know like he wasn't he wasn't um, cluster feeding he wasn't comfort feeding so it was eventually after like a year a few months um, my 
supply reduced and so I was able whenever I stopped nursing it wasn't hard for me to just snap back into like you know not breastfeeding anymore because my supply was low already so it wasn't like I had engorged boobs so that's Anthony's story Aaliyah was a whole nother story whenever I had Aaliyah I wasn't sure if I was gonna breastfeed or bottle feed but I knew that I really really wanted to bottle feed more than breastfeed at this point um, I was just going through a really really hard time in that in that phase of my life um, and I knew that I was like really depressed um, and it was just something that I was I don't know how to explain it, but like I just felt very, I felt very alone in that time and I just kind of wanted to push everybody away. Yes, I had a newborn baby that I loved with all my heart, but at the same time, my mindset wasn't kind of like, I know it sounds terrible, but my mindset wasn't on giving my kid the best. It was just kind of like day to day, whatever happens, happens. I was, like I said, I was very 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 depressed and so even the, the few weeks leading up to like probably six weeks of um, postpartum I was really it was a really really dark time for me because like I said I was depressed and I'm pretty sure I had postpartum depression that I didn't deal with like even just thinking about it now kind of makes me my um, eyes water because I just remember like I was in this dark hole like it was just like this dark cloud over me all the time I was always thinking about you know the darkest times like what if what if this happens I wasn't in a place where I felt safe I, you know it was just like a lot that was going on at that moment that I'm like I, I know that it was just harder for me and I knew that um, at that moment just breastfeeding wasn't something that I wanted to do. I know it sounds crazy because with Anthony I was like I'm gonna do the best with like what's best for my child but I was in a better place whenever I had Anthony than whenever I had Aaliyah. Try like feeding her she really didn't want much to do with the boob and then out of nowhere like I'm telling you once we took her home got her you know got like situated this girl decided that all she wanted was to comfort feed. It was on the boob so much and whenever she wasn't it was crying. I tried the pacifier. I tried giving her a bottle like it was just the boob 24 7 and I fed her um, I nursed her till she was about two years old and it wasn't fun nursing it was like comfort nursing even eating um, after a few months I think five months six months we introduced food to her as well but she didn't like it she wanted to breast like she wanted physically nurse like I tried pumping and giving her breast milk no girl she wanted to nurse like just be on the boob all the time and so this was definitely hard for me because I just felt like I couldn't do anything I remember for the first probably year and a half of her life I was on survival mode I would barely get any sleep at night because she was constantly nursing at night um, and I remember how just hard it was for me to to have a normal life to go out and shop for you know an hour or two it was like constantly like I had to breastfeed her all the time and so I remember my mom was just like girl you need to let her cry it out just let her cry out so once I moved in with my mom um, I remember I kind of like I was like this is my baby I have to like feed her she's hungry and the mom's like no girl like at some point if you want to live like a normal life you just have to let her cry it out like you just have to let her know you don't always get what you want and that's okay Leslie and I remember I she was like go out she's like go out do something for an hour and she's like come back and she was just she was always attached to my hip like always she was just a mama's girl when she was a baby so my mom eventually helped me kind of break loose from that you know comfort feeding thing that she had going on and um and she started to eat more she started to you know drink her milk we started introducing like actual milk to her like we tried different things we tried i don't know if you guys have heard of a needle it's like um like formula for like kids after one we tried different kinds of milks I tried almond milk I tried so many things I tried putting you know the nest quick milk like mix in her milk when she got older and it just nothing helped nothing worked until finally just out of nowhere Leah decided to stop breastfeeding literally out of nowhere she stopped breastfeeding I remember one day I went to like try to breastfeed her and she just like didn't want it she just didn't want the boob and that's whenever she decided I'm done with the boob and I remember I was like I was so sad but yet so relieved but I was so incredibly sad whenever she decided to stop breastfeeding because I'm just like it was just like something that I was so like it was like a, such a big weight on my shoulder you guys I couldn't hang out with like I just I just felt like she was just an annoying kid because she always wanted to breastfeed I tell you she probably couldn't go an hour without breastfeeding it was ridiculous um but 
So those are kind of our, our stories. I breastfed Aaliyah for two years. Um, and honestly, I'm so happy that I did. I'm so happy that I breastfed both of my kids. But let me tell you something, guys. It's not always, it doesn't always go as smoothly as what I'm talking about. Like, you hear my breastfeeding story. Yes, I told you guys some of, like, the hardships that I had. Like, how hard it was here and there for Aaliyah, for me, for Anthony. But you guys, like, seriously, people don't see how much goes into breastfeeding i know how hard it is and it seems so natural like i said in the beginning like i thought it was gonna be so natural i thought i was gonna like you know put a baby on my boob and they were gonna start you know sucking it and it was fine like you know they were gonna, they were gonna start nursing gosh i should i really need to stop talking like this but, you know i thought they were just gonna start nursing and things but like literally didn't happen like that um so whenever i first had anthony literally i thought i'm gonna put my baby on my boob and the certain nursing was gonna be something so natural, like they knew from the womb whenever they came out, like how to, you know, suck on a boob. And I remember I put him on there, and I think for about 10 minutes, guys, he, I tried to nurse him, and I remember my mom was kind of helping me, but she didn't, I just felt like she didn't really help me, but bless her, she tried to help me. It hurt, it hurt so bad for the first 10 minutes, like he just sucked the life out of my boob, and I'm just like, ow, this hurts. And I remember then I, I asked the nurses for help because the nurses were there and the nurses really didn't help much because I'm like, am I doing it right? And they're like, yeah, you're just like, you know, you just put them on there. And I'm just like, I feel like I'm not doing it right. And it like my back hurt, my my nipple was hurting so bad. And I remember whenever I left the hospital, before I left the hospital, I was still breastfeeding him wrong and I didn't know I was breastfeeding him wrong. But like, I remember just like telling the nurse, I'm like, my nipple really, really hurts. Like, I can't, I can't, like, it hurts me. And I remember she like she came and she grabbed some like nipple cream for me. She's like, here, try this. And I put it on my nipple. But like the, the crazy part was like, it was only one bit, like one nipple that was really, really hurting. The other one was okay. Um, so I remember like after a few days of breastfeeding, like I went home and everything and I was trying to like, I was gonna like breastfeed him and it was like bleeding. And I remember just sitting there and like, I had to breastfeed him from from like you know you have to switch on and off because honestly guys your boobs will be lopsided if you don't like switch on and off and I remember for a while I tried to just breastfeed him on, on this boob but then this boob was like neglected and like all the emotions that come with this it was like insane like I need to breastfeed him but it hurt like hell to breastfeed him to breastfeed him to breastfeed him on this side and I remember I would just lay on the bed and just like embrace, like just like, you know, get myself ready for it. And I would just lay there and I'm like, okay. And I remember I had to position my boob a certain way in his mouth or the nipple in his mouth so that it wouldn't hurt as much. Um, and so finally I decided to do my own research on breastfeeding because I'm like, you know, this isn't working. I felt like I was doing it wrong. No matter, like I asked my mom, I asked the nurses, like I would ask people, I'm like, I don't know how I'm doing. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, and then eventually, the older he got, like, the better his latch was. So, um, I remember it was after I, like, after I had nursed him, after I had finished nursing him, um, I don't know what I was doing, but I came across, um, something that said, like, how, like, people nurse wrong. I don't know. I think it was, like, an article or something that I read, and it all made sense to me, okay, because... I was like, what was I doing wrong for like whenever Anthony, when I was breastfeeding Anthony? And what I was doing wrong was I literally just put, for the first time, I just put my nipple in his mouth. And if you guys don't know, you have an are areola and then you have your nipple. So for a long time, I was just putting my nipple in his mouth and he was literally just sucking on a nipple. Um, but what I learned is you, the baby needs to like literally grab the whole areola, areola, I don't know what it's called, areola, um, the baby needs to grab all of it with its mouth and make sure that the nipple, especially whenever they're newborn, that the nipple is like all the way like, kind of like back here in their mouth so that whenever they suck, they suck a certain way that the nipple kind of like touches their the back of their like throat or whatever or the front of their throat um, and they suck and it's just like the video, I think it was a video that I saw, but like the video that I saw was like it was crazy because the way they move their tongues, the way they suck it, and the way they have all of the or areola in the nipple in their mouth, it just makes a smooth kind of like suction thingy in their mouth, which helps you and helps them. So I'm just like, that's what I was doing wrong. I didn't know that. I didn't sit with a lactation um, consultant and was like, hey, like, what am I doing wrong? I was so young. I was even ashamed to like do and like to ask little certain questions because I was only 14 years old. I was so ashamed to like ask for help, um, anything to do with like you know, my private parts, boobs, everything. I just didn't ask. And so, um, whenever I had Aaliyah though, 
I had learned, um, you know, that lesson, and so I was like, I was kind of scared to breastfeed her because I had such a bad experience with Anthony. Like it was painful, um, but he loved to breastfeed, so I just continually, like, I just, I kept breastfeeding until eventually he weaned himself off of breastfeeding. But like with Aaliyah, it went a lot smoother. Um, it still was hard because you go through pain and it like your boobs feel like they're gonna fall off like it just hurts it's not easy like people make it seem like it's so easy I'm like no it's not easy I remember just crying because my boobs were so big and you know like they eat sometimes great and then like the next time they feed it's horrible and it's like you didn't you didn't take anything out um your boobs get enlarged you you get these things I don't know what they're called dang it, I should look it up breast engorgement which you know if you go a long time without feeding your baby then you know your boobs get engorged and it's a it's it's hard guys if you don't feed your baby because it hurts your boobs are seriously like, huge but there's also i don't know how to pronounce it but it's mastitis mastitis i don't know how to pronounce um but that's like um whenever you get like a painful breast lump in your boob i remember for anthony and for Leah, i got it i got like this really really bad fever i remember like it hurt to move that side of my body and i remember i was like mom i don't think i'm okay and i remember how embarrassed i was to like go and like ask her about it um and i was just like i don't know what's wrong with my boob but like there's a huge lump on it like i could feel the lump and um she was like let's say just go into the restroom i don't know if she told me to like shower in hot or cold water and let like the the water hit like that side um but what she was pretty much saying is like I, I needed to like massage it and make sure like that I took care of it um and I actually went to the doctor for it and they gave me some um antibiotics for it but you know like it was with I didn't know that like I was just I remember I went through a few days of having a fever and like not feeling my best um and just being with that pain and I wish somebody would have been like hey there's a lot more that comes with breastfeeding than just breastfeeding so um if you if you're trying to decide if you want to breastfeed i think it's something that you know some women try and they're like i'm over it like they try and they like feed their baby maybe for like six months your choice it's completely up to you um but i just want to sit on here whether you try it um and decide on like if you should do it um or not but i just want to come on here and just be honest with you guys so for the moms going through this or have gone through this like we can all relate here breastfeeding is not not easy and I'm not trying to scare you out of breastfeeding I'm just saying I wish I would have gone into breastfeeding my child my, my first child with more of than oh it's natural it's something natural it's something that all women do it's something that you know we did back then without formula or whatever you know I just wish I would have gone into more you know with more knowledge I just feel like women would have I wish women would have been more open with me um, and with like the mom community of like hey breastfeeding's hard sometimes you sit there and cry with your child because your boobs are huge and full of milk and sometimes you get lumps in your boobs and fevers and sometimes your nipples crack like crazy um, so I just wish there, like that transparency would have been there instead of me just going into it like it's natural because it's like it's natural but it's also really 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 hard so if you are breastfeeding a child or if you're planning to breastfeed a child good luck with that but I want you to know that hey you're not alone in this journey hey okay, guys so I think that's where kind of my story of breastfeeding ends if you guys like to see these type of videos definitely let me know I'm trying to be more like relatable hey guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys are moms and watching this video then I'm with you I get you it's a hard life but it does get better I promise it's hard but it gets a lot a lot better don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell not you will not get notified when we upload a new video we'll talk to you guys next time love you guys bye